this was cr- okay this blew me away okay so the franklin needs to get up to terminal velocity to turn on its thrusters which that doesn't make much sense to me but okay it needs to get up to terminal velocity while falling to get the thrusters on but why do such a risky thing let's watch and we'll we have to achieve terminal velocity in order for the stabilizers to provide lift are you sure okay. this drop is high enough to do that we'll find out okay. Ventress. Okay. clear scenario okay. How is this a good idea? What are we doing? <laughs> That's a terrible <laughs> idea. Oh, oh. Hull breach. Need hull breach. Oh. It worked. It worked. So I don't think it makes sense because it, if it was a wing, like a wing on an air, on a like a regular aircraft in today's world, you need a certain minimum speed to generate lift to go into the atmosphere. <laughs> But these are thrusters. We're not using the flow over the surface of the craft to generate lift. We just have thrusters that are blasting down. Why is it necessary for there to be terminal velocity? I mean, I guess. Okay, so I guess if the franklin had an airfoil shape like that that shape of the that tear not quite teardrop that that shape of the of a wing um then you could generate lift but it, it doesn't it's a it's a spaceship made for space, mm, made for space. so it doesn't have that shape and then and then worse here is right at the end yeah. like if they did a smooth scoop out i could get it yeah. but they don't they flatten out here right like this this is this is coming straight down It's not like flying, scooping out. It's it's flying, it's flying flat, and then it's it's, it's going to hit its belly, the bottom. Right. I don't know what part of the ship is called like that. But it's going to hit the bottom, and so now, now you have your thrusters pushing down, which is going to counteract that that downward momentum. But you could have just done that from the, the top. top of the cliff, just turn them on, downward and momentum, then, and then lift up. Right. This this is the most challenging scenario you could have given them. Right. right. It has to not only not only has to have, it's like. It's like you're driving forward and you put you just slam your car in reverse and so then your tires are like screeching backwards on the floor but you could have just stopped and then gone backwards right like wh why stop yourself and then reverse when you're already stopped just reverse just reverse so they're sitting on the top of the mountain they could just turn on the thrusters and turn on thrusters and then go and go instead they need to fall at terminal velocity which doesn't seem to be connected to the thrusters at all No, nope. they're not using the lift of the Franklin. It's not even a nope. lift generating ship. Yep. And there's no aerodynamics. Turn, yeah. Aerodynamics and then they turn into a position where there is no aerodynamics. They're falling belly first. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Super wrong. And then also, yep. also what started them? It, it's what, the, what, what pushed them off the edge? It's the onboard nudging system. Got like a little feet and then a little feet yeah. on the bottom, like little, stand out, like walk them yep. out. Yep. Well, it, let's just watch it. because it's, it, it looks odd like they're like we're gonna fall we don't have thrusters but we have nudgers oh. Ooh, what, is this? what did that what what did that what did that i don't see their feet are there little like thrusters that i think it's shoot. smooth on the bottom i think they just had another machine somehow that was ready behind it to push it and a little little machine like a without machine without breaking it <laughs> what Use those thrusters. That. Use those. What did we... That means Starfleet in, installed some kind of nudging system for like some crazy scenario. What did we... The I mean, ship is designed for space. Maybe this happened in the past and then Starfleet changed its ship design. They updated <laughs> it. And so now the ships can do this. I mean, well, I'm you. down for innovation. If they, they got a problem, they can go solve it. They can apply it for future ships. That makes okay. sense. Okay. All right, okay. The rest yep. of this don't make sense, but the nudge on the ship, that's canon to me. Look, it's it's just it's just going down like a it's rock. Just going, it's going it's hit. going it's going to hit. It's Why would the thrusters need uh, And then they hit rocks. The rocks would f the ship up. I mean, either and, okay. So if it if the ship is super solid and it hits a rock, it should apply enough torque to spin that ship around. Yeah. 
or the ship is not solid it's made like a ship and then you have hull breaches for sure right for sure rocks Probably. rocks don't have any give and engineered rocks. items do that's right i think it's the hollow. ship it's breaks hollow. It. it's hollow the ship breaks as complicated machine parts and things and the rock is just rock it's not complicated weird weird scene weird scene unnecessary risky too just lift up. Just lift right up. 